How do you get more stops on defense in Madden 18? Well, in today's video, I'm going to take a look at the top three things that you can do that are going to get you more stops in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time watching any of my content, I just want to encourage you to watch the video all the way through, and at the end of the video, to just leave me a comment and let me know what's your name and then secondly what are some of the questions or things that I can do to help you get better in Madden 18 what are the struggle points what are the things that you could say you know I really need some help with X or I really need some help with Y or I'm not sure about this let me know those in the comments and I will try to answer those for you alright guys so in today's video the thing that I really wanted to talk about one of the things that I really think a lot of us need help on is getting more stops in defense and, and really um, here's a couple things the first thing that I want to give you really tactical is is to disguise uh, your defense to ha so to have a defense where you can call cover four cover six cover four cover two cover two man under cover three have a defense where you can call all of those things um, so that you're not just calling you know cover two every play you now have a whole system that you can use that's a big, big thing for a lot of people. A lot of people will, um, and for some reason, not pick defenses that allow them to do that, and that's a big, big, big miss. The second thing that I'm going to suggest to you, and this is probably the most important tip that I'm going to give you in this video, so here it is. One of the critical things with, with stopping a lot of people on defense is to play over-the-top coverage, over-the-top coverage, so triangle right stick up if you play over the top coverage you are going to do really really a lot better it's 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 so powerful to play over the top coverage in this gears game because it's most targets the, where the quarterback wants to go you got to think about the offense you got to put yourself in the mind of the offense and where the offense wants to do is they want to throw the ball um, for a big play. They want to get it all in one play. That's what most people want to do is they want to do everything in one one big one big push and they're gonna and they're gonna do it all. The problem is oh dang it, you got me roasted. The problem with that thinking is that it allow it's actually good for the defense it's bad for the offense the problem with that is that in this year's game they've given us a lot of tools to be able to stop deep pass patterns and force you to throw the drag the problem with the offense is they don't want to they don't want to do that and so it, it enables us as a defense to now all of a sudden be able to have the upper hand as we as we look to this so what I can now do is I can now play over the top coverage and it's very, very difficult for the, the offense to really do anything against me. So I'm playing over the top, nothing deep, nothing deep, nothing deep. And he has to really make a, I mean, he has to thread the needle to get the ball to his guy. So again, play over the top coverage and then use defenses that are that are four or five deep shells. So like one of my favorite things to do out of the cover four is to take the middle linebacker that's in a yellow zone and put him in a deep blue zone and make it a cover five. You know, stuff like that is really, really, really powerful for your defense because what it what it allows you to do is it allows you to force absolutely want to force the offense to to basically take what they, what you give them, and if they don't do that, they're in trouble. That's just the way. Again, that's just the way it is. So that's a big that's a big deal. Okay, you you. The way the game works now, it's it's finally given us the, the key elements to taking away what we want with the defense. So that's that's critical. Play over the top coverage. Use defenses like Tampa two, cover four, cover five, uh, whatever you want to use. But but I recommend Tampa two probably is the best um, at at not giving up big plays, especially if you use her the middle of the field. And when you use her the middle of the field, here's a big tip with that: is you need to. Um, you really, really need to consider when you're using the middle of the field to play deep to short. So basically, you want to force them to take the underneath. So you're going to take away the over-the-top stuff, okay, manually. That's that's what I find to be the most effective. Most people know that post routes beat the majority of coverages, and so they're going to run a lot of post routes. The problem that that entails is is a post route can be manually guarded. Um, and so you can just take it away with your user guy. I find that to be 
probably the most effective. So anyways, the last tip that I want to give you, um, and again, for all the defensive and offensive plays, you can check out my premium membership. So if you haven't checked that out, it's in the description. It has everything, every piece of content that I'm going to really pour into you guys. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a nice uh, segment and group of about 15 to 20 people. So if you want to join that, you can. But the last thing that I'm going to say, again, we've talked about playing user deep to short. We've talked about playing over the top coverage. We've talked about um, the general um, theme for defense is to get yourself in the offense's mind and you know they're going to try to get the big play. The last thing that I want to say as far as the critical element to getting more stops in Madden 18 is to focus your energy on playing if you play deep to short and then if you have a phenomenal red zone defense i have plays for you in the in the premium membership that are really 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 good for stopping the majority of what a lot of people like to do the problem is most people don't have the premium membership so they don't know what those plays are but the key with the red zone again is to have something and it could be it doesn't have to be super complicated it doesn't have to be a blitz but to have some kind of go-to, I know this is going to work um, if I call it. I just know it's going to work. It's tried and true. It's tested. It's a red zone defense. It's, it's what my what's my game plan in the red zone. If you have that, that is so powerful to your defense. What it's going to do is it's going to allow you to have so much more flexibility and freedom with your play con because you know that when push comes to, sh- to shove – if they try to, if they basically try to um, score in the red zone, you now have a plan uh, to be able to stop them. So as you can see here, my score, 28 to 40, not a very good defensive game, but I also had two interceptions for touchdowns. So the defense really has only given up 14 points. So again, the, the real critical elements that you're going to have to continue to fight uh, is your is your eagerness, in my opinion, a lot of people are really eager to try to force turnovers. My opinion is you don't force turnovers, the offense gives you turnovers. A turnover is when the offense makes a mistake. It's not whenever you do something that's so great on defense. So don't try to be the don't try to be the the hero all the time on defense. Defense is much more about systematically just destroying your opponent. And if you can do that, that's going to be critical. That's what's going to make a difference for your system, and it's going to get you more stops in the game whenever you are able to um, you know, make the, the right play, the right play, not make mistakes, take away the deep stuff, and then when your user player play deep to short, and the biggest thing that I can, again, the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is to force them to take a field goal. Whenever you take away the fact they can't score touchdowns against your red zone defense, that's critical, okay? That's where you're going to be powerful. And what you and the best way to do that is to play deep to short to force them to maybe start a red zone uh, series at the 10-yard line or the 20-yard line as opposed to the 1-yard line. Much easier to defend from the 10-yard line than it is from the 1-yard line, okay? Because 1-yard one, one yard line, they can run quarterback sneak. They can run halfback dive. So, again, those are the critical elements. If you're new, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it helped. Um, and if it if it did, let me know what about it helped. And then if it didn't, let me know what I can do better to um, to really help you guys get better at this game. Because this is, um, again, the whole goal of the channel is to get you better equipped to, to win more games at Madden. That's really all we're trying to do here. So thanks for watching. And let me know if you have 